<laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is go through Nick's D4. G'day. To see uh, all the cool stuff he's done. Check out and, the single uh, person setup. Single person setup and, and different ideas, cool ideas. Where are we going to start? All right, let's start at my second row platform. Okay. All right, two water tanks in a custom box that I made myself. Bag sits up on top. Ties down to the factory seat points. Spare bag, other stuff jammed in. Camp cover again for toiletries, nice and handy. That's the, is that the same camp cover? Or same camp one? cover same as yours, Scotty. Yeah. I've got the link directly from you. What's that? that so that's your tool, various yep. tools. All tools, boxes and tool drills, bowls. first tool sustainer for drills, electrical, spare light, hasn't even come out of the box yet. Um, I'll take you around to the other side. Storage box, paper towels, towels, sleeping bags, spare stuff. That just lifts off the top, does it? Yeah, it just lifts and slides out. Shovel, army shovel from, can't tell you who, really handy. Axe, spare tire. Now that, that's very good. That's Keep, the, keeps the weight way. nice and low. Yeah. Not so on the roof. The back, the back. And in here we have a 80 litre water bladder that I can fill from this point here. Keeps it out of the way and nice and sturdy. Box I made myself, very similar to the drifter. Drifter style table, I copied myself. I'd never do it again. It just takes way too much time and effort. Luke, you did a great job there. <laughs> um, fridge slide I made myself. Waco, dual zone, 95 litre fridge. Pull out table, again, too easy. This is all I've used most of my trip. Uh, all F14, A-bond ply. Drawers, cooking, some food and coffee setup. Beer, eggs, more beer, gloves, straps, bits and pieces that I don't really need up the back. Uh, voltage of my lithium battery. I run an iTech 120 uh, lithium battery. Auxiliary socket, water from my water bladder. So that hose runs through, runs down the through side. and up the side. Yep. Yeah, from the bladder. That's it. Charging and auxiliary sort of takeoffs just here underneath the drawer, uh, coming off the lithium battery, which is third row footwell. Yep, third row so, footwell. So forward of this. I've copied Scott, but I had to go one better, other than the light that doesn't work. Dimmer. Amber lights on a dimmer. Light. And then just soft stuff. Yeah, on top soft when stuff. You, when we're full. when we're cruising around, yeah. just a cargo net to stop the jocks and stuff going forward that are just thrown in there. Um, Don't want them slapped in the face. Definitely not. <laughs> so roof rack. Roof rack. We have the Rhino Rack three quarter platform on the Discovery four. Four wor uh, steady work lights. No, three. So we've got three steady work lights. All on a remote control switch that I can switch oh, yeah. from up to 10 meters away from the vehicle. Kick our shower tent, that's been really great for this trip, having a shower when needed. Tires as uh, another thing that's a bit different. What size is that? Uh, we have jammed in the 275 18s. These are the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Um, they've done really well. They've been a really good tire. Having the bigger size has really made a difference on the Discovery. A few rubbing issues, but they'll rub away in time. And um, but just been really good in that. In that yeah, I've really, really muddy happy conditions. With them. They've, they've in actually the mud. They grip well, well. quiet on road. Sliders, uh, I've just got sliders from Safari Rock Sliders, made by Marvin Challoner on the Gold Coast. Been excellent. Is he still doing them? No, I don't know. Don't know if he's still doing them. All right, mm. so you've got slightly more light than me, so let's cover the lights at the front here and how you've mounted them as well. All right, four Firelight Nemesis. Uh, 24 volt, 250 watts each, 
one kilowatt of light power. We have a custom made light bar bracket that I've uh, made and had TIG welded up out of aluminium that just bolts onto the two nut sets for the factory roof rack that you can get from Land Rover. Wiring just runs up the side so I can take it on and off for trips. This trip, I needed lots of light. And yes, it's like having the sun shine from the front of your vehicle. Right. Here's where I have my UHF. So that's a, what's that now? That's just in the... Um, that's a little Nick home jobby. It's a old mobile phone on the vent mount screwed to the UHF because the wife doesn't like it in the car all the time. Just sits Pretty on solid. there. Pretty solid. Yep. Bit of felt to stop it rubbing. Clips on. Out of the way, easy to see, easy to reach. Um, we have a knife. I carry that in the car. What? Where's that plug into? Oh, it just plugs into down here. So UHF just plugs, that's velcroed onto there. And then that's out of the way. Stays nice and tidy. What else we got in here? Oh, oh. Lambs. Lambs is in the same Lambs, position as same me. Same position, old school dial. Fine mount. That's Fine just, mount. A just a ram screen. Ram. And then I've just wedged my Garmin Mini in there because I couldn't find them out. Uh, in here, little cabin set up for emergencies. Torch. I keep my lead lens of the torch with me, a fire extinguisher I can get out, um, handheld radio, bait or fang, work really good. First aid kit is all accessible, or I think is accessible even in an accident and I'm stuck in the car, need to put a fire out, use it to smash a window, treat myself. Yeah. I'm also running the ARB single compressor, mounted in the engine bay, straight off crank battery with a 30 amp fuse little dust cover to keep it clean on the air fittings and a switch just through a factory hole right here nice and easy to get to you want that on youtube no don't put that up there <laughs> nothing to see here <laughs> I drilled the holes and I actually tapped threads into it to mount these with threaded bolts. Perfect. Yeah, you lie. I knew you lie. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Proper job. That's pretty good. This, not so much. Yeah.